<laughs> hey everyone. Um, so this is take two because I forgot to turn the microphone on last time, but we won't talk about that. Hope everyone had a really great Easter. I hope you got to spend lots of time with your family and your friends, your loved ones, um, that you got to eat some delicious cupcakes or had a few Easter egg hunts, whatever your thing is. <laughs> hope it was awesome. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to make another video blog because hey, I am done with school for the semester. Just completed my first full year of grad school, so my third semester, and drumroll, I got A's again, and I am so stoked because walking back into school, I never really thought to myself that maintaining a 4.0 would be possible because let's face it, as an undergrad, I was not all about that GPA. Um, I definitely this time am impressing myself and totally not meaning to brag about, but I'm just super, super proud because I didn't think that that was gonna be something that I was able to do, especially with working. I think this calls for a dance party, yeah. <laughs> now I have time to make a video blog um, but I thought I would update you on my fantasy baseball team in case you cared since my last video was about the team that I drafted um, so who would have thought that Ryan Braun wouldn't be playing um, because he's hurt <laughs> I mean he's on the deal or anything and excuse me can somebody please wake up Melky Cabrera because he is killing my team and Brian Dozier what is going on okay those guys are completely killing me right now um oh and let's talk about ERA Loesch oh my god I don't even want to talk about that actually <laughs> um but I did drop a couple of people I uh wound up dropping both Norris and Morris but I did pick up um Sergio Romo and Mark Burley, we just got his 200th win today. Congratulations, and thank you for that point. Uh, and then I had also picked up Trevor Bauer, which Trevor Bauer, thank you. Anyway, I guess I just wanted to close this really short video blog with saying, um, you know, I heard about the unfortunate passing of Lauren Hill uh, she was the collegiate basketball player who was diagnosed with brain cancer. Um, she unfortunately passed away, and it just kind of reminded me of, you know, I found out about it at the end of last year when my grandmother was actually um, going through the process of being diagnosed with brain cancer as well. But by some weird turn of events and some kind of crazy fate, my grandmother was misdiagnosed so imagine the emotions of being told that you have like six months to live and then finding out that you don't have it at all um, and then seeing a 19 year old pass away with the disease like I hate I hate sickness and I hate seeing anybody go through that kind of stuff but it just really reminds you um, to just cherish the things that are really important to you in your life and just be thankful for the things that you have. So I hope everybody who watches this um, just isn't afraid to go out there and try to like achieve stuff like as corny as that sounds because like we aren't promised a tomorrow and these people are just living proof that you know some people don't have the opportunity so we have the opportunity let's get out there and do something let's fulfill our wildest dreams and by the way go lightning